My second update on Intense Cyclone Freddy as of February the 18th, 2023, around 8.30 in the morning, Mauritius time. Now the storm has been fluctuating in intensity as it's been in the past few days, but it's still a category four on the Sapphire Simpson scale with winds up to 145 miles per hour or 230 kilometers per hour and a pressure of 936 millibars. It is located around 16.1 degrees south, 71.5 degrees east, moving west at 14 miles per hour or 22 kilometers per hour. Now here's a forecast film that I've made recently. Uh, as you can see, I'm expecting the storm to uh, weaken actually, weaken initially into a category three storm before re-intensifying as it passes close to Rodriguez Island. And, it, and then as it approaches, as it approaches Mauritius and La Reunion, it's starting to weaken again up to landfall with, in Madagascar within uh, 90 to 96 hours from now. It could re-emerge in the Mozambique Channel and could be a potential threat for Mozambique itself, but it's, it's too early to determine that. As of right now, there are warnings in effect for Rodriguez and uh, La Reunion. Rodriguez is under a Class 1 Cyclone warning, while La Reunion is under a Yellow Cyclone warning. Here is the statistical models. As you can see, similar to yesterday, the models are expecting the storm to maintain intensity up, well, until it makes landfall in Madagascar. Uh, sh the shear is expected to have another peak later today. And uh, the sea surface temperatures and relative humidity will not prove any problem to the cyclone especially since relative humidity is on a rise. So here's the latest H-Wolf run, which is, which basically follows the forecast, but which basically follows the forecast in terms of track, in terms of, in terms of intensity, not exactly, but you know, the intensity in models is not exactly the most reliable. Anyway, here are the sea surface temperatures, as, I, as I've said before, not going to be a problem for this storm. 28 degrees Celsius all the way up to this to landfall in Madagascar, and there might be 29 degrees Celsius waiting in the Mozambique channel if the system ends up there. Now here's the latest satellite imagery. Now I've got to say the storm looks significantly worse than it did yesterday. So, yeah, both on visible and in infrared. In infrared, it's like it's lost its uh, warm medium gray eye on Dvorak imagery. And as far as I'm concerned, the storm is dealing with some dry air, uh, dry air intrusions and whatnot. And that will be the end of the update. Uh, those in the path of this, those in the path of this storm, uh, stay safe. Uh, follow the officials.